All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Gurung Pinoy. This is day two of our final coaching for let September 2022. And of course, we'd like to especially welcome back the members of Team Piaché. Again, if you are a member of Team Piaché, you can answer our quizzes. You can watch the full-length video. You can download all the PowerPoint presentations that we have through our PDF files. And of course, you have joined our pre-board and our final coaching videos uh, that are full-length are available for you for free. So again, if you are going to take this lab this uh, coming September 25th, send us a message so that you can join Team Piaché. Pupurete pa rin pong humabol, no? Mag-send po kayo na message sa ating Facebook page, which of course is Gurung Pinoy. Now, for those of you who will be taking the lab in March of next year, we have Team Bruner. This is our newest team. And this, of course, is going to start with the orientation on October 2nd. Then, of course, our review would start with the diagnostic test on October 8th. Okay, so again, if you are going to get or to take the lab in March of next year, our new TOS that's going to be for Team Bruner, October 2nd upon orientation sa habol po kayo magpa-enroll na po. We still have our discounts for the first 300 members. So again, just send a message to our Facebook page that is Gurung Pinoy. Now, if you have friends, if you have family members, if you have um, sa mga kaguru natin na gustong pumunta sa Amerika, gustong makipagsapalaran, gusto din mag-teach sa USA, we also have our program on this. This is in cooperation with uh, one of the teachers and one of the schools that's hiring teachers to go teach in the US. And we will be registering soon. So again, antabayan na lang po yung ating mga announcements dyan po sa ating Facebook page, which of course is Gurung Pinoy. Now, tonight's discussion is final coaching part two. This is 40 items, 20 items for Gen Ed and 20 items for Prof Ed. Again, if you are a member of Team Piaché, make sure that you are watching us on your team because uh, napuputol po yung video natin yun sa ating Facebook page at dyan po sa ating YouTube channel. We also have another group, which is only for final coaching and also for our classified files. Doon po kayo manood if you are a member, okay? Para po dire-diretso, hindi po kayo mabitin. And of course, may mga balibalita, no? Yung may mga taong nananamantala sa mga kaguru natin, yung mga nagbibenta ng ating uh, files. Huwag niyo pong i-condone, no? huwag niyo pong i-support. Uh, huwag niyo pong i-tolerate yung mga taong ganyan, yung mga namimihasa at mga uh, nagbibenta po ng ating materials. Please make sure that you report them. We will be giving rewards no, sa ating mga reporters. So meron na kami mga natatanggap. We actually already have three reporters. And so we will be giving them some rewards for... Um, for telling us that some people are selling our materials. And of course, doon naman sa mga nagbibenta, hindi po kayo mabibiyayaan. No? So sana po ay huwag niyong gawin yan and stop it if you still can, especially since magiging professional teachers po tayo. Okay, this is final coaching day two for let September 2022. We start with our opening prayer. Please join me. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. All right. Now, once again, this is final coaching day two for our let September takers. Please do like, love, share our video, start a watch party, tag your friends so that we can start in a few minutes. Maraming salamat po to all our sharers. Lahat ng nagtag na na kanilang friends, so yung ating mga uh, top fans. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Gemma Rose Villiesa. Okay, maraming salamat for uh, being one of our top fans. Uh, Ma'am Gemma Rose Villiesa Tesorero. Maraming salamat po. To all our star senders, thank you so much. Again, if you can, please do send us stars on Facebook and Super Chat Super Stickers naman dyan po sa ating YouTube channel. Thank you. Top fan, Ma'am May Torres Guevara. Hello po. Good evening. Top fan, Ma'am Red Regine Ardivilla Go. Uh, Ma'am Jonah Laborte Sabay, top fan. Hey, Ma'am Chell LC, top fan. Maraming salamat to one of our uh, supporters, si Ma'am Rowena Etsibortaton. Maraming salamat po and good evening. 
Okay, again, to all our star senders, Ma'am Faye, Kawan, and Mukhtar, maraming maraming salamat po for sending us stars. To all our uh, top fans, maraming salamat. Sir Jusper, or Jasper M. Igot, maraming salamat for sending us stars. Ganon din kay Sir Roy Bisalis Alipoon. Uh, thank you po. Okay, all our top uh, top fans and star senders, Mom Kelsey, thank you so much. Okay, now how can you become a top fan? Just uh, be engaged, no? Palagi po kayo mag-comment sa ating mga question of the day, sa ating, of course, sa ating um, live streams. If you are always leaving your comment, then you can become one of our top fans. Ma'am Lerma Nogal, maraming salamat po for sending us super chat, super stickers dyan po sa ating YouTube channel. Thank you, Ma'am Janice Riano Rafas. Thank you for sending us stars. Okay, we start with question number one. Again, please do like, love, share our video. We start with number one. This is Jen Ed for final coaching day two. Question number one, your favorite. Okay, Carlo had an average of 70% in his first two tests and an average of 80% in his next three tests. The average for his five tests is blank, letter A. 80, letter B, 76, letter C, 75, or letter D, 78. What's your choice for question number one? Pambungad, no, nakakagana, math ka agad. Okay, yung inyong paborito. Okay, Ma'am Cheryl Ann Martinez Antonio, maraming salamat po. Sir John Mark and Cabo, maraming salamat. Ma'am Alibay Chichay Pangawilan, maraming salamat po or sending us stars. Ganon din kay Sir Jimmy Ordonio. Maraming uh, salamat po. Good evening. Joining from Rayong, Rayong, Thailand. Um, Amethyst Antonio Ganner. Sawadika. Maraming salamat for tuning in. Of course, please do stay safe. No? Stay safe po mga kaguro. Medyo pumasok na yata. Napapasok na yata si Typhoon Henry. Ramdam na natin. No? Masyadong humid. At... Um, uh, may ulan na at may hangin na. So please do stay safe at sana eh, wala pong abiria sa inyong signals ngayon gabi. Okay, letter B. I see a lot of letter B sa ating comment box. Kahit sa team YouTube, letter B din nakikita natin. Thank you kay Ma'am Joanna Sible. Maraming salamat po for sending us a super sticker dito sa ating YouTube channel. Okay, letter B, karamihang choice. Let's try to find out if your answer is correct. Again, you all know that when you are trying to solve for the average, you get the sum of all the numbers, then you divide that by the number of items that you have. No? So sum over N. In this case right here, you are given the average. Okay, so naibigay sa atin yung average. And so what we do is we try to find the sum. Then, of course, um, we divide that by the N units. Okay, so... The sum here would be equal to average times the N units, okay? The number of items or the number of tests that Carlo has, okay? So for the first uh, summary or the, first, the not the first summary, the first sum, we have sum 1 equals the average of 70% times 2. Bucket times 2 because this is for the two tests, okay? And so the sum here would be 140, okay? That's 140. Now, for the second sum, you have 80, that's average of 80%, times the three tests, okay? And this would give you 240. Now, we are going to add up sum 1 and sum 2. That's uh, to get your final average. You have 140 plus 240, and we divide this by 5. San po natin kinuha yung 5? Because we now have a total of 5 tests, okay? So, limang test na po. You have 2 tests sa uh, summary, uh, sa so, so, sum 1. And you have three tests to sum two, no? So not summary again. Okay, so that's 140 plus 240 divided by 5. And so that would give us 380 divided by 5. Your final average is 76. That would be choice B. So tumpak. Ang choice B, congratulations. Magdiwang yung mga nakakuha ng tumpak na choice. Sa mga ligwak naman, alam nyo na, move on ka agad. Parang pag-ibig lang. No? Huwag nang ngumuy-ngoy. Huwag nang maglupasay. Move on ka agad. Marami pa pong pagkakataon. Okay, we go to number two. So again, for number one, that's letter B. Number two, ipapasa ng mga mag-aaral ang mga sagot sa takdang aralin sa darating na linggo. Ay nasa panahunang patlang. Letter A, pang nagdaan. 
Letter B, perpektibo. Letter C, panghinaharap. Or letter D, pangkasalukuyan. What's your choice for number two? This is Filipino. Uh, karamihang items nyo no, sa, sa let, um, gen ed, yung iba sa inyo nahihirapan sa gen ed, yung iba naman ay hirap sa uh, prof ed. Okay? Pero yung gen ed kasi sobrang hirap, mahirap din yung gen ed kasi you don't know where the questions are gonna come from. No? So iba-iba kasi yung panggagalingan ng questions kapag ka ito ay gen ed. Kapag ka prof ed naman, once you already have the skill, of analyzing the questions, mas nagiging madali na yung prof ed. No? So iba sa inyo, uh, minsan nagko-comment na mas madali na yung prof ed kaysa sa gen ed. Yung gen ed kasi samot-sari talaga yung questions. Okay, so for this question here, this is Filipino, isa din sa mga challenging na parts ng gen ed test ninyo. Okay, uh, maliban sa math, no, challenging din yung Filipino, mahirap din yung Filipino. Hindi lang nakaka-nosebleed, hindi nakaka-nosebleed hindi lamang English pati Filipino nakaka-nosebleed. Okay, so dito I can see a lot of letter C, tumpak kaya ang letter C. Okay, so ang ating uh, pangungusap ay ganito, ipapasa ng mga mag-aaral, that means future, di ba? Ipapasa ng mga mag-aaral sa darating na linggo. Now, you have the choices pang nagdaan at perpektibo. Pagkaparehas lamang po yan na magkaparehas yung pang nagdaan, tapos na, at perpektibo, tapos na rin. Pang hinaharap would be future, pang kasalukuyan would be the present tense. And of course, the correct choice would be letter C, pang hinaharap, ipapasa. Mangyayari pa sa susunod or sa darating na linggo. So letter C for number two. We go to number three. In Rizal's poem, which extols love of the national language, people who don't love their native language are compared to blank. Letter A, lupain ng ginto at bulaklak. Letter B, bayaning lalong tumatapang. Letter C, ibon mang may layang lumipad. Or letter D, hayop at malansang isda. Okay, what is your choice for number three? And of course, si Lolo Jose Rizal ay medyo uh, paborito din, naging paborito na din in the previous na no, previous years, naging paborito paborito na din ng let's see, Lolo Jose Rizal. And so sa ating classified files, no, sa ating uh, last week of coaching, babalikan po natin all about Dr. Jose Rizal. Okay, so ang tabayanan niyo po yan. And of course, magpa-member po kayo para po kayo ay maka-join sa aming discussion. Okay. What's your choice for number three? I see this. Letter D kaya ang tumpak na choice for number three. Ma'am Jusel, Faunilian, Mangao. Yes, pwede pa po kayong humabol. Magpamember po kayo sa Team Pioche. Okay, letter D for number three. And of course, letter D ang ating tumpak na choice dito. Okay, so letter D, Ma'am Aysa Rasul. First time watching from Lanao. Assalamualaikum. And of course, welcome po. Number three is letter D. Tumpak po ang letter D. Uh, this actually came from the second stanza na pangalawang saknong ng sa aking mga kabata. Ang sabi ng ating poem, ng ating tula, ang hindi magmahal sa kanyang salita, mahigit sa hayop at malansang isda. Kaya ang marapat pagyamaning kusa na tulad sa inang tunay na nagpala. Okay, so that's part of um, the second stanza of your sa aking mga kabata. Now, sinasabing isinulat ito ni Dr. Roserizal nang siya ay wawalong taong gulang pa lamang. Although there are some doubters, no? marami ng doubts as to whether it is true that he has written this when he was just 8 years old. Ipinakikilala sa tulang ito ang pagpapahalaga sa sariling wika. Okay, so letter D for number 3. Tumpak po ang ating choice D. Okay, basahin ko lamang. Maraming salamat, Sir Eli Jr. Bolon for sending us super stickers sa ating YouTube channel. Maraming maraming salamat po. We go to question number four. Ayan, math na naman yung inyong favorite. Mr. Buena ordered a merchandise listed at 15,000 pesos. The invoice showed the net price of 12,750 pesos. Find the discount rate. Letter A, 18%. Letter B, 20%. Letter C, 15%. Or letter D, 22%. What is our choice for question number four? Uh, merong kaguro dito yung uh, comment niya, sana all may hinaharap. Okay, parang Indian ba yung inyong pangalan, ma'am? No? Parang Indian na characters, hindi ko mabasa. 
Okay, what's your choice? Sabi ni Sir JJ Aringo, pag mali ang D, kanina to, no, sa question number three, pag mali ang D, babalikan ko si X. Kawai-kawai, mga major in Filipino dyan, mahal natin sa dili nating wika, sabi ni Ma'am Nitsa or Nisa Alauya, mga Filipino major. Okay, I see a lot of letter C's, 15%. Okay, so sabi ng question natin, nag-order si Mr. Buena ng isang merchandise. It was listed at 15,000 uh, 15, pesos. Ngayon, yung invoice niya, yung resibo niya, showed the net price of 12,750. And so now, we are going to find the discount rate. Magkano yung na-discount ni, uh, ni Mr. Buena? No? So for us to find that out, unang una, of course, we have to subtract. 12,750 yung kanya binayaran sa principal amount, the original amount of 15,000 pesos. Okay? And the difference is 2,250. Now, kukunin natin yung rate of 15,000 to uh, 2,250. No? So, what percent of 15,000 is 2,250? Now, as I have mentioned, yung term po na of in math, this means times. And ang term, of course, na is, is equals. Okay, so you can write this as blank percent times 15,000, that's coming from the word of, is, that's equals 2,250. And so for us to get the value of your rate here, we need to divide 2,250 by 15,000. So 2,250 divided by 15,000, your answer will be 0 0.15 in decimal form. Or in percentage form, that would be 15%, letter C is tumpak. Okay, so letter C, ang tumpak na choice for question number four. We go to number five. Okay, Romeo and Juliet is to Shakespeare as Iliad and Odyssey are to blank. Letter A, Homer. Letter B, Agamemnon. Letter C, Marlowe. Or letter D, Achilles. Okay, what's your choice for number five? Hello po sa lahat ng ating mga first-timers, mga newcomers, kawai-kawai, hello po. Sa mga new followers natin, hello, welcome to Guru Pinoy. And of course, since this is the first time that you're watching us, we have so many videos dyan po sa ating YouTube channel. Ganun din naman po sa ating Facebook page. That's Gurung Pinoy, no? Name both Gurung Pinoy. And if you want to watch the full-length videos at download yung ating PDF files, you can become a member of Team Piaché if you will be taking the left this September or Team Bruner naman for March, no? Sa ating new TOS. If you'd want to become a member, mag-send lamang po ng message sa ating Facebook page, okay? Where you are watching now. Pwede po kayo mag-send a message now. Okay, babalikan po ni admin lahat ng inyong messages. Okay, so mag-send po ng message para of course ay maka-join po kayo sa ating final coaching, full-length video, and ganun din po sa ating classified files. Okay, number five, Romeo and Juliet is to Shakespeare. Okay, Shakespeare was the author of Romeo and Juliet. Therefore, we are looking for the author of Iliad and Odyssey. And the correct choice is letter A. Now, so Homer was the one who wrote Iliad and Odyssey. Now, what about the rest of your choices? Okay, but before that, Homer, again, is the legendary author to whom the authorship of the Iliad and the Odyssey is attributed. He is regarded as one of the greatest and most influential authors, influence, influential authors of all time. Now, Agamemnon is only the first play of the great tragic tra trilogy, the Oresteia. Uh, ito naman ay sinulat ni Aeschylus. Okay, this was written by Aeschylus around 458 BCE. It is his sole trilogy to survive intact. The two other plays, Kyopori, uh, Kyopori. And Eumenides, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly sa ating mga English majors, no? And the last satire play called Proteus won its author first prize at the Great Genesia that same year, okay? So that's Agamemnon by Aeschylus. Now, you also have Christopher Marlowe. This is choice C, also known as Kit Marlowe. He was an English playwright, poet, and translation or translator of the Elizabethan era and his most famous play was the tragical history of dr faustus okay baka lumabas ito sa let no the tragical history of dr faustus was written by kit marlowe or christopher marlowe and in greek mythology achilles or 
Achilles was a hero of the Trojan War, the greatest of all the Greek warriors, warriors and the central character of Homer's Iliad. Uh, si Achilles naman po yung ating choice D was just one of the characters uh, um Iliad, which was of course written by Homer. The idiom, lumalabasin ito sa inyong Gen Ed, an Achilles heel is a person's only vulnerable spot, a serious or fatal weakness. Okay, so siya yung inyong kahinaan. No? So kung ikaw ay patay na patay sa iyong jowa, pwede mong sabihin na ikaw ang aking Achilles heel, ikaw yung aking kahinaan. No? That's the person's only vulnerable spot. Okay, so that's Achilles heel, an idiom that also would come out in your gen ed. But we were looking, of course, for Homer for that, uh, for question number four. Okay, so again, for that question, number five, I mean Homer is the correct choice. We move on with question number six. The union of an ovum and a sperm inside the test tube is called blank fertilization. Letter A, in vivo. Letter B, asexual. Letter C, in vitro. Or letter D, sexual. What's your choice from or for number six? Ma'am Justine Rochelle. Ito na makita yung pangalan ni Ma'am. Ma'am Justine Balikan ko yung pangalan ni Ma'am. Ma'am Justine Rochelle, bye-bye. Kasi Nina, marami salamat po for sending us stars. Okay, Waterloo, po pwede din sa, uh, maggamit, no? Instead of Achilles Hill, tama po yan, Ma'am Lori Lee Pulmano, po pwede din Waterloo yung inyong maging term. Kahinaan. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Akisha Faith Desina. Nag-send daw siya ng sticker, no? Maraming salamat po. Mamaya po, babalikan ko, Ma'am. Hindi ko po makita lahat ng comments niyo dahil marami pong nagko-comment. Okay, I see letter C for question number six. This, of course, is science. Okay, number six, the union of an ovum and a sperm inside a test tube is called blank fertilization. Now, your ovum is another term for your egg cell. We all know, no, egg cell sa ating mga babae at sperm cells naman sa ating mga lalaki. Okay, so ovum and sperm cell, when they are united, when there's union between them inside a test tube, what would be the term used, okay? So what type of fertilization would that be? Is it letter A, in vivo? Letter B, asexual? Letter C, in vitro? Or letter D, sexual, okay? Now, the correct choice, of course, is letter C, in vitro fertilization, okay? So letter C po, ang tumpak na choice dito. When you say in vitro, that is a procedure that is done in a petri dish or in a test tube, okay? So test tube, ginagamit siya sa test tube or ginagawa siya sa test tube. Or sa petri dish, that's in vitro fertilization. In vivo naman, vivo means living, no? So this this action or this process is done to living organisms. Examples of your plants, your rats, or your mice, and of course humans, no? So in living organisms or in organisms, you use in vivo fertilization, okay? You may do it, po pwede siyang natural, Kunwari sa mag-asawa, no, when, they, uh, when the sperm cell and the egg cell of um, the married couple would undergo fertilization, you can call that in vivo, okay? Or po pwede din naman siyang sa lab, for example, mice mo, no, yung mga uh, lab animals mo, yung subjects mo sa lab, po pwede din silang gamitin kahit sa plants mo in, in the labs, po pwede din. Okay, so in vitro, yung ating tumpak na choice. Now, yung asexual mo, when you say asexual reproduction, uh, asexual po yung ibig sabihin nito without the sex cells. Okay, so this is a uh, type of reproduction without the presence of your sex cells, without the involvement of your sex cells. Kunwari dito yung mga examples natin sa ating mga plantito-plantita, yung mga stem cuttings natin, no? yung mga stolons, runners ng inyong um ang inyong mga grasses, no? So, these are forms of asexual reproduction. Uh, binary fission sa inyong bacteria, lumalabas po yan sa let. Yung budding sa hydra, no? So, that's asexual reproduction. And um, meron pang isang very common question sa let. Parthenogenesis, yung isang egg cell ay 
nag-fertilize siya ng kanyang self. Walang kailangan na sperm cell. No? So that's also an asexual form of reproduction. Sexual naman, of course, this is the union of your sperm cell and your egg cell. So um, the type of fertilization that happens in humans, that's an example of sexual reproduction. Okay, But here, number six, we are looking for letter C. Okay, Vivo, akala niyo cellphone. Sabi ni Sir Rio Hatulan, akala niya cellphone. All right, we go to number seven. Potential energy is to battery as a moving electric fan is to blank energy. What type of energy is um, exhibited by a moving electric fan? Letter A, nuclear. Letter B, mechanical. Letter C, chemical. Or letter D, kinetic. What's your choice for number seven? Oh, you may, meron pang naghahanap dito kay Let Review. Okay, sabi ni Ma'am, clear, akabal. Di ko ma-search si Let Review para ma-report. Okay, so mga meron tayong mga uh, profiles kanina, kanina na ni-report yung mga nag, nagbibenta ng ating materials. Okay, I see a lot of letter Bs. May ilang letter D. Si Ma'am Alcover ay nag-change. D pala, sabi ni Ma'am Alcover. Pero karamihang choice inyo ay letter B. May ilang letter C. Alin kaya ang tumpa? Okay, this of course is um, science. Okay, this is an item in science. Again, if you can, please become a member of Team Gache para maalagaan po kayo mabuti. And of course, um, you can send us stars, you can send us super, super chat, super stickers naman if you want to show your support to Gurong Pinoy. Maraming salamat po. Ayan, sabi ni Sir Joe Ranger, no? yung naghahanap ng mga pangalan ng aso ni Rizal at ng kabayo ni Rizal. Okay, what's your choice for number seven? I see letter Bs. Let's take a look at our uh, question again. Potential energy is to battery as a moving electric fan is a blank type of energy. And now you have you actually have two major types of energy. No potential energy. This is the energy of position or stored energy. So usually, yung ating explanation dito yung potential energy mo. This is the energy possessed by unmoving objects. No? So potential energy, energy of position, or stored energy. Kaya sa battery mo, stored energy siya, that's potential energy. Now, on the other hand, kinetic energy, kinetic energy mo naman, is the energy of motion. This can be found in moving objects. Okay, so moving objects. And so here, po pwede mong isipin na kinetic energy yung inyong choice, no? Pero moving electric fan kasi, it is a machine and we have to be specific. The correct choice here would be mechanical energy, which is also an example of your kinetic energy. So mechanical energy ang ating tumpak na choice. For number seven, it's letter B, not D. The letter D is just kinetic energy, energy of motion. But we are talking about a fan, a machine. It's mechanical energy, which is also an example of your kinetic energy. Okay, your nuclear energy here is another example. Nuclear and chemical energy are examples of your potential energy. Okay, so letter B, ang ating tumpak na choice. For number seven, we go to number eight. Subalit, Filipino na no, ay pangatnig na ginagamit sa patlang. Letter A, pagtatanong. Letter B, lubos na pagsangayon. Letter C, paglilinaw. Or letter D, hindi pagsangayon. What's your choice for number A? Okay, what's your choice? Ayan. Sabi ni Ma'am Irene on Lagada, Valyespin, may balance pa po ako sa nagbenta ng files kagabi. Sana po report niyo para po kayo ay may biyaya galing sa Gurong Pinoy. Ma'am Joanne Garcia, loading na ba? Pwede naman pong balikan later. Sir JJ Aringo, maraming salamat po ma'am Mac LPT na po ako dahil dito sa Gurong Pinoy. Practice ulit. Congratulations. Maraming salamat Sir CB John Paul Arellano the 3rd. Ire-refer ko po talaga itong Gurong Pinoy sa education department namin sa school. Sige po. Ilista mo po yung mga magiging kaguro natin doon. Okay, letter C for number eight. Subalit, 
Subalit. Mahal ko siya. Subalit, ayaw niya sa akin. Okay? So, pagtatanong ba ito? Lubos na pagsang-ayon, paglilinaw, or hindi pagsang-ayon? Ang tumpak na choice dito would be letter D, hindi po pagsang-ayon. Subalit, no? Subalit, natapwat. Okay? Subalit. Um, hindi po siya pagsang-ayon, hindi po paglilinaw. Paglilinaw, um, you are giving more details, no? Pero yung subalit, hindi po siya nagsasang-ayon, okay? So, po pwede mong sabihin na gustong-gusto ko siya, subalit, ayaw niya sa akin, okay? Subalit, ayaw niya sa akin, hindi paglilinaw ang ating tumpak na choice. Letter D for number 8, medyo maraming naligwak, no? So, number 8 natin, hindi po paglilinaw, but pag, uh, hindi pagsang-ayon yung ating tumpak na choice. We go to number nine. Face-to-face -face communication is made via the computer through blank. Letter A, Skype. Letter B, email. Letter C, Google. Or letter D, Twitter. What's your choice for number nine? Number nine, ano po ang ating tumpak na choice? Okay, what's your choice for question number nine? Again, huwag pong kalimutang i-like at i-share yung ating video. No? However, tama po yan, Sir Sef de la Fuente. No? So, valid is however in English. Okay, so hindi pagsang-ayon. Alright, what's your choice for number nine? Number nine, I see a lot of letter A's. Okay, letter A for number nine. Face-to-face -face communication, so you can see each other, uh, other spaces, although uh, if we are strictly speaking, hindi siya face-to-face -face talaga, no? na nakikita mo talaga siya in person, but you can see each other spaces via the computer through letter A, Skype, letter B, email, letter C, Google, or letter D, Twitter. The correct choice, of course, is letter A, Skype. No? So Skype dati, no? ngayon medyo Google Meet na nawala na yung Skype, Medyo hindi na maraming gumagamit ng Skype yung nag-pandemic. Naging mas uso yung Zoom, yung Google Meet, yung uh, Microsoft Teams. No? Pero ito kasi Google lang siya. So this is just a search engine. No? Hindi, siya, hindi siya Google Meet. Okay? Zoom na ngayon yung uso at Google Meet no? at Microsoft Teams. Okay, but letter A for number 9. We go to number 10. The Philippines was discovered in 1521 by the Portuguese explorer. Blank. Letter A, Serviliano Aquino. Letter B, Ferdinand Magellan. Letter C, Christopher Columbus. Or letter D, Fidel Castro. Okay, what's your choice for number 10? Again, kung hindi ka pa po member ng Team Piaché, po, pwede pa rin po kayong humabol. Mag-send po kayo ng message sa ating Facebook page kung saan po kayo nanonood ngayon. No? Mag-send po kayo ng message sa ating Facebook page para po maging member kayo ng Team Piaché, para po mabalikan nyo lahat ng full-length videos natin, lahat ng files natin, mas maliwanag po yung mga concepts sa inyo. No? So magpa-member po kayo sa Team Piaché, send a message through our Facebook page kung saan po kayo nanonood today. Kung um, member na po kayo sa ating uh, Team Piaché, doon po kayo dapat nanonood sa inyong team para po dire-diretsyo yung inyong panonood. Ganun din po sa mga members ng ating classified files and final coaching. Doon po kayo manood sa inyong um, sa inyong Facebook sa inyong Facebook group. Now, ganun din po sa mga nanonood sa atin sa YouTube, no? Doon po kayo mag-send po kayo ng message sa ating Facebook page para po maging member kayo ng Team Piaché para po kayo ay makanood dire-diretsyo ng ating videos. Okay, number 10, of course, we all know this, no? Sabi ni Yoyoy, uh, March 16, 1521, when Magellan discovered Limasawa Island. Okay, so letter B, Ferdinand Magellan, ang tumpak na choice for question number 10. Now, what about the rest of your choices here? Si Sir Villano Mianong Aquino was a Filipino general during the Philippine Revolution against Spain and the Philippine-American War. He served as a delegate to the Malolos Congress and was actually the grandfather of Ninoy Aquino. No, so grandfather siya ni Ninoy Aquino. Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer and navigator who completed four Spanish-based voyages 
across the Atlantic Ocean sponsored by the Catholic monarchs of Spain, opening the way for the widespread European exploration and colonization of the Americas. Ito naman yung tinatawag na discoverer ng America, is Christopher Columbus. Although some people in the U.S., they don't want to uh, celebrate Columbus Day because, of course, the Christopher Columbus and his men also oppressed the Native Americans during that time. Ganon din naman sa atin yung nangyayari. Uh, Na-oppress din yung mga Filipinos before sa kamay ng mga, mga Spanyol. No? Although Ferdinand Magellan was Portuguese and Christopher Columbus was Italian, they were serving Spain during that time. Okay, And Fidel Castro, on the other hand, was a political leader of Cuba who transformed his country into the first communist state in the Western hem Hemisphere. Naging first communist yung Cuba because of Fidel Castro. Castro became a symbol of communist revolution in Latin America. Okay, But the correct choice, of course, is letter B, Ferdinand Magellan for number 10. We move on with question number 11. The least common multiple of 5 to 7 is blank. Letter A, 140. Letter B, 35. Letter C, 15. Or letter D, 70. What's your choice for this math item? No, least common multiple. Now, remember yung atin pong uh, hint, no? Wag pong unahin yung choice A. Hanapin po muna yung least number. Okay? Yung pinakamababang number muna yung inyong unahin kapag kayo yung naghahanap ng ating LCM. Okay, para po tumpak ang inyong maging choice. Okay, what's your choice? Number 11, 